Okay, Tailwinders, I'm here with Troy right after the message. Awesome job, by the way. Um, you know, last week when you were going through all this stuff, you had all this content, and even in prep for this, because, you know, honestly, this is the first message I've ever heard on this particular topic in church, which is so crazy, because it's in scripture all over the place. No one talks about it, not really sure why. Um, maybe it's because we all kind of feel like we're not quite there yet. Sure. Not, but we're not there yet in other areas either. But with all the stuff that you were studying and all the stuff that's on the cutting room floor, basically, share with our Tailwind people that are studying it right now. Just they just heard the message. I've given them some scriptures to kind of meditate on. What are some of the extra things that you wish you had time to share and didn't get a chance to for us to discuss and then pray for one another about? Well, I think one of the key things was, and I, I kind of had to cut this out, but I think it's strong when Jesus tells the parable of the talents. And wow. there's yeah. there's the, the manager who goes away and he gives these three guys, uh, you know, 10 bags of gold, five bags of gold, two bags of gold. And the guys with the 10 and the five, they invest it and they get a great return, you know, because it doesn't belong to them. They understand that they're there to manage that thing and they're accountable for how they manage it. And then the person with two bags of gold, they, they decided, you know what, I just I'm, I think I'm going to watch TV instead. So they don't do anything with it. They bury it in the ground. <laughs> then when a the manager comes back, he says, hey, the guy who did 10, you know, who made, made more money with that, I'm going to give you more responsibility. I'm going to bless you. I commend you for what you've done. The guy who did five, same thing. He gets, you know, he had five bags of gold. Now he's in charge of all these cities. And the one who had the two bags of gold hands it back and said, you know what, I was afraid I might lose some money. So I basically neglected it, you know. Things that aren't, aren't dealt with, they aren't maintained, they tend to go back to it. So he actually lost money on this, and the manager condemns him for it. And I just, it's one of those things where, without having too heavy a hand on it, I want to say God has given us all these facets of our lives, including this body, and it doesn't belong to us. It's not our own, and we're responsible to Him for how we manage it. That's awesome. Um, why, don't, why don't you share with some of the folks, because we're right in this place right now, about how to the application side of it. Mm -hmm. And I know that you just started a new group right. that kind of addresses this. Why don't you like share with these folks yeah. some of the things that we're working on as sure. a church? Well, we're starting a group called Body and Soul that it's gonna it's gonna have two things. It's gonna have a Wednesday night meeting where we come together and we'll we'll get some like biblical tools, some pragmatic tools on how to start taking the first steps towards our physicality, so to having a healthy, God-honoring way we view our bodies. And so we'll help people find uh, workout programs that are going to be doable for them, maybe to, based on where their fitness level is or what the cost is, that kind of thing. We're going to teach them about diet. We're going to bring in you know, speakers who are nutritionists and who are trainers and who are doctors. And then we're also going to have an online component that provides accountability for people so that when they do their workouts on their own time, whether it's at their gym or in their home, Every day, other people are going to be able to see that, yeah, you did your Bible reading, and yes, you did your workout, whether you had a program that required three workouts a week or six workouts a week. So that for 90 days, this group, however many there are, will be tracking together and loving each other and holding each other accountable to finish what they started. And, uh, and it's, it's the idea so that is, accountability is built in. Kind yeah. Of what you were talking about in the message. And it's also to help establish a new, uh, a new set of patterns, a, a new, new set normal. of habits, a new normal. Right. You know, they say it takes 15 times to do something before it becomes a habit. And if we do something really strong and regular for 90 days, you start to discover a lot about your body and how you want to feel and how you like to feel. And you start to get what is a new sense of what is sustainable and normal. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us Thanks, and in the community. Um, we're going to go ahead and unpack that even more together in the chat. So that is that. We will see you in the chat. All right. Thanks, you guys.